Drawing elliptical arcs. Really, an elliptical arc is no more than an ellipse with a hunk taken out of it. So we're basically going to draw the ellipse, and then we're going to have a few extra steps to tell us where the beginning and the end of that arc will be. So let's go up and hit the down arrow next to our ellipse and go to elliptical arc. In the elliptical arc, we're going to start off over here and we're going to pick the first end point of our axes. We're going to come over here and pick our second end point of our axes. Then we're going to come down here and pick our minor axis end point. And then we're going to key in a value of our start point. And we're going to key in a value of zero. And then we're going to swing it over and we're going to key in a value of 90 degrees. And I'm going to hit enter. And there's an example of elliptical arc. Let's do three more examples here. Let's do an elliptical arc. I'm going to pick the first end of the major axes, the other end. Come down here and pick the minor axes. And I'm going to start with my start angle of zero. And then I'm going to actually go around to 180 degrees. So I'm going to go halfway around. Let's do that one more time here. I'm going to pick the end point, the end point, my minor axis end point. I'm going to start with a uh, rotation angle of zero. I'm going to swing it all the way around. Then you can, I'm going to go for 270 here. And I can hit the end point. So, now, let's say I didn't want to start at zero. Let's do one more. And I'm going to come in here and start at the end point. The end point. I'm going to do the minor axes. Instead of starting at zero, let's start at 90. So I'll type in 90. Now, I'm starting over here. And let's say I want to go over to 270 degrees. And I hit enter. And so, here are four different examples of how we can do an elliptical arc, which is nothing more than an ellipse with a hump taken out of it.